Hello guys, welcome to another crypto tutorial. My name is Esperant and in today's lesson we'll be creating this chair. I made this based on a few sketches I found on the internet. I'll be showing you how to create the chair, applying the materials and eventually rendering the whole project. So we'll start off by making the structure of the chair, which is this part here. And then we're going to creating everything else in it. After that, we'll work on the room, the lighting, and the rendering process. So let's get started by opening 3D Studio Max. I'm using version 2010. This tutorial can be done using version 2009 up to 2012. I'll go over and reset my program so we can get started. Once your program fully loads, go over to the Create panel and then select Shapes. Select the ellipse. And from that, just draw a shape to about this size. We'll go over to the Modify panel. With the ellipse still selected, right click on it and convert it to editable splines. Now select the vertex. Click on the front side of the shape. Get your Select and Move tool. Try and move that up. You notice these vertices connect together in order to make the shape. So we want to break that apart. Just scroll down until you find break. Click on that. And now when you select that same vertex and move it up, we've separated the shape and broken it into smaller pieces. Just undo that. Control Z. Once you've done that successfully, go back to the Create panel and this will deselect whatever options you had before. And now we can duplicate that shape by holding down shift and then dragging this up through the Y axis. So now we've got two of them. So put this around there. Once this box pops up, just hit OK. Now go back to your Modify panel, scroll down and say Attach. Select the bottom shape. And when you do that, now both our objects are part of the same shape. When you select the vertices, you notice we can now see all of them at the same time. Now go over and get the Select and Move tool and deselect by clicking anywhere else around the screen. And we'll start off by selecting one of our vertices down here. Using the front viewport, just zoom in slightly and move that vertex up like so. And now we're going to do the same with the one above. Select on any of them and move it slightly lower. And now we know what we need to work with. So select this one here and connect it to the one below. And then select this one and connect it here. So you can see what's happening clearly on your perspective viewport. Now we're going to weld these vertices. Just click and drag so that you can select both vertices. Scroll the modifier panel down and you see the world option. Just increase that slightly to whatever number and hit weld. As soon as you do that, you notice the vertices have been welded together. Now to test that, just click away and click on that again. We should be able to move both lines with the same click. And that's exactly what's happening. You can see the difference in your perspective viewport and on your front viewport or anywhere else really. Now let's do the same thing with the above vertices. Just click and drag so that you select both of them at the same time and then hit weld again. And now we have the same thing happen to this one. So if you click on that, and so we've connected them. Now we're going to align them properly. Go ahead and select the bottom one, bring it slightly higher and put this at the same place. But we don't want them to look awkward when we apply other modifiers. So go over to your top viewport and just move this back slightly, maybe up to there. You'll notice the difference on your left and top viewport. Once you've done that, select the vertex on the shape above, like so. Using your front viewport and your left viewport, we're going to modify this slightly by moving it up to maybe about here. Do the same to the vertices in the middle. Drag them up slightly and then grab your Select and Rotate tool up here. As soon as you do that, we can now control this a little bit more by playing around with it like so. 
So we had it like this, and now we want to do something like this to it. Get your Select and Move tool again. Drag this up slightly. And just a little bit. I think something like that looks quite interesting. Now we're going to grab both of these vertices and move them up as well, like so. Now let's continue playing with these a bit more and get your Select and Rotate tool again and make it something like that. Now once you're happy with your shape, just hit the Create tab again and rotate this. You notice you notice we've got one smooth shape connected together. Now I'll reselect that shape again by getting your Select and Move tool. So click on that and then go over to your Modifier panel. This time we're going to apply the Sweep modifier. So just click on your Modifier list, either search for it by scrolling up and down or simply type S. And then you can find it that way. And we've got it down here. As soon as you click on that, you notice our shape now looks a bit more three-dimensional. But it looks a bit weird right now. What we need to do is change the built-in section. So there's different shapes here. We want to be using the bar. And that's the shape we've got. Now we're going to modify that by going over to the parameters. You can increase the size. So we're going to increase that to something like that. And then decrease the width. So that will affect its thickness. Something like that. And then maybe make that slightly smaller. We don't want it too big. And I think that's all right. So we've created a structure within. So we've create. So we've managed to create a structure within just a few minutes. And now we're going to modify the structure itself by going over to our editable spline. As soon as you click that, it will revert your whole shape back to its original form. Now to avoid that, you need to click this button here. This is the show end result toggle button. Now as soon as you click that, now we're displaying what shape is going to be whilst editing its original form, which is the editable spline. Select your perspective viewport and hit F4 in order to display the edges so we know what we're doing. And to turn it off, you can hit F4 again and that will turn the edges off. Now what we want to do is go right back up. We're going to select one of the front vertices and then hit on the select and rotate tool to rotate that slightly. Something like that. Once you've done that, we're going to select the other vertex by zooming in. So you notice we've currently got this one selected and then we want to select that. So just click on that and now we can modify that shape as well. We just want it straight because that's how I previously created it. And once we've done that, our structure is almost complete. We're now going to select the sweep modifier again, get your select and move tool. And now we'll play around with the shape itself so you can increase the size. You can increase the bottom part or the top part. But we don't want any of those. We want the angle. So this will sort of twist it around. Try and give us the exact match on what we've already created. But if you like it the way it was, by all means continue that way. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll do it as I previously did on the other project. So I'll leave it around there and that's our structure so far now you notice we've got a small imperfection here if that's the case with your model then just go back to the editable spline and make sure you've got the back one selected or the front one for that matter and just move it slightly forward whilst looking at your perspective viewport and now we've realigned it I think our structure is complete Thanks for watching this video and I'll be explaining how to create the other parts of this chair on the next video. Bye for now.